What happens to lot size in copy trading when subscriber and provider have different balances? If you are going to start copy trading in MQL5 website, this is maybe one of your questions. Watch this video to get the answer. Hello and welcome to Mini Traders. We have talked about copy trading in MQL5 as one of the ways you can make money out of Forex without knowing how to trade. If you haven't watched it yet, I suggest you to watch it before this week. One of our subscribers asked this question. Does MQL5 automatically calculate lot size if balances differ at signal provider and follower? I promised to make a video about it and here we go. But before we start, I want you to subscribe and hit the notification bell under this video for supporting us and using other useful contents of this channel. You can also ask your questions anywhere in this channel and I try to answer them as soon as possible. Let's get into our question. Calculation of lot size in subscriber account. Lot size depends on other variables. These variables are balance, leverage, and currency of both provider and subscriber accounts, and also maximum deposit percentage in subscriber account. When you are subscribing to a signal, you can set a percentage here. We would need this percentage in our calculation. For having a lot size, we should first calculate a ratio, and this ratio will give us lot size in subscriber count. This formula will calculate our ratio considering balance, leverage, and balance, currency, and both provider and subscriber account. Now we can have our lot size using this ratio. Let's see an example and everything would be much better. Imagine you want to copy trades of some provider who has $2,000 in his account and his account has a leverage of 1 to 200. Your balance is 1000 euros, your leverage is 1 to 100 and you said your percentage of deposit to 80 persons. At this time, suppose your USD exchange rate as 1.13. Using formula, we would have 0.22 as our ratio. This number means that if provider opens a position of one lot in his account, you would have the same position in 0.22 lots in your account. There are two points to mention here. The minimum lot size in subscriber account is not lower than his broker minimum lot size. Most of the time, it's not less than 0.01 lot. You should be careful about this. If you have a very small account, it would be dangerous for you. The other point is about leverage. If leverage in subscriber account was greater than the leverage of provider, leverage would be eliminated from our calculation. This calculation may take some time from you. So I provided an Excel file for my subscriber for calculation of lot size. You can download this file for free in the description. Let's see how you can work with this part.
this video was helpful, like it, YouTube will show it to others and this may help them. Share this video with anyone you think that might need it. Thanks for watching, have a good time and bye.